Hello, today we'll be discussing CPU scheduling algorithms in Python. So the first algorithm is FCFS. Now if in FCFS, the processes which come first, that is according to the arrival time, we are going to sort the processes and it is going to be non-preemptive in our case. So we'll just sort our processes by their time they arrive and then we just keep on allotting their required burst time to them and then we print a Gantt chart for it. So firstly in this particular video our aim is to take the input in the form of a table and display it in the form of a Gantt chart. That will be it for this video and then for each and every algorithm I'll be making separate videos. So firstly we have to take the input from user. What we need is we need the process name, the arrival time and the burst time of the process. So let's begin. We'll have a input function for that and inside the input function uh, we need the process names. So firstly we'll take the input as how many number of processes do you want to enter. So enter the number of processes. Then x times we are going to run our loop. So for i in range x we are going to run our loop and we require certain uh, arrays or lists with us. So that will be process name, process arrival time and burst time and these are going to be lists which will take input. Okay, we will take the input from user. So uh, in this n of i comma a of i p of i can be uh, initially it will be input from user enter the name of process let's pay too many number of s's so process process number let's mention it in I okay process number yes that will be n of i similarly we'll have a of i and b of i as per our requirement enter the burst sorry arrival time time of process the burst time yes and once we've taken the input okay we'll do it in the main function and we can call the main function below we need a function to display our Gantt chart so for now let's just pass dummy values in our Gantt chart I want the Gantt chart to be displayed in this way uh, it will have the process name initially uh, this suppose this is the timeline timeline will be beneath so 0 time started then maybe at 12 seconds then 24 seconds here there was no process it started then there was p1 over here and then p2 was over here so i want it to be displayed in this manner so we'll have to take such kind of an input from the user no, we have to calculate that, I'm sorry. But for that, we have to make a function for printing it. So let's just pass certain values. See, initially there's no process in the left part, so that will be a blank. 
then there's process P1, P2 and I want to pass another list containing the times so that will be my input to the Gantt chart so let's call it a Q process Q and a time array and inside this we'll print it in a beautiful manner so yeah we have to first print our Q so that will be print our process is equal to and let's not go on the next line for now Process hmm. and then we'll run a loop for I in Q. We'll print uh, Q of the it is stored in i whatever we want to print we'll print i and end it with this so it looks pretty in this manner and i we want equal spacing for this so what we'll do is we'll have a string and we'll give let's say 10s and we'll format it for our i variable then we'll go on the next line and we'll do a similar thing for printing our time okay our time or maybe we could just print blanks in this case here it will be 10d because our time variable okay time is going to be an integer value and maybe printing this is our count chart so let's see whether our chart is working fine or not and if it is then we can start implementing our scheduling strategies let's see number of processes i give four name of process zero it is already looking very ugly so let's start it from one for my convenience and yes now we'll just save it and I'll execute it again number of processes I'm giving four p1 List assignment out of range on line 18. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, we'll have to append it. I am so sorry. We have nothing in our list as of now, so we have to append it to A and then to B holding our burst times. end it with a parenthesis and test it again I'll just give one process for now yes so the Gantt chart this is working fine but in T there's some issue did I pass integer values yes I did then what's the issue? Uh, 
unsupported type i'll find about this okay so the fault was it should have been i over here so let's see if it looks good yes so this is what we want as a gantt chart and we'll also give certain spaces over here so everything looks nice and yes so this is what we have to print for each and every scheduling algorithm that we have so what we'll do we'll have a queue uh, a process queue and a time queue we'll make inside our functions for fcfs and all and we'll pass it to the gantt chart function so we'll be discussing fcfs in the next video so thank you so much for watching